She may be a bad demon, but she's in a pretty good sequel. Hi everyone, I'm Jacob, I'm the Cow Hat Librarian, and I've got kind of a fun sequel tonight. It is the sequel to Mish the Bad Demon, and it is Mish the Bad Demon, The Secret of the Fang by Michelle Lamb. And if you've watched my channel for a bit, you'll remember that I talked about the first Mish the Bad Demon book, and that, for the most part, I thought it was pretty decent. So I was excited to pick up the sequel, especially because the first book left things off in a way that implied there would be one. As this story starts, some wolves that showed up in the first book with a friend of Mish and Noma are displaced from their home and they have to go on the run. And in the course of things, Chai, the wolf child, finds his way to Mish and Noma and lets them know that bad stuff is happening, that they've been driven off from their homes. And when they go investigate, they find out that there are stones there, much like the ones that appeared when the um, when Mount Magma was being poisoned in the first book. This is serious, serious stuff. And Mish and Noma investigate together. Mish still isn't very good at the demon stuff, and even with the Fang and her status as guardian, she's still not very powerful. And the best thing she has going for her, honestly, is her friendship with Noma, and the fact that they support one another, and they help each other practice flying and the like. Well, in the course of things, they investigate what's going on, and Mish is captured, and Noma has to fly off and tell her mom, and they have to make a plan to deal with things. In the course of things, they learn that the people behind this are fairy demons. A cross between fairies and demons. And they were cast out of the fairy land because there was a crop failure and other things happening. And the fairies were scared and blamed them and cast them out. And there was no place for them to go. And they built up over the places that used to belong to the fairy demons, including building the massive TV production tower that made the adventures of Princess Noma right on top of the former demon fairy land. And the story goes from there with Misha's grandma and um, Noma's mom, the fairy queen, making a sort of alliance to work together to help deal with this new threat. This was a solid, solid sequel. The characters are still very, very appealing. I love Mish and Noma. I love their friendship and the fact that they've grown to rely on each other and that they're there to lift each other up when one of them is down. I still like Xavier. He was just sort of a pompous jerk for most of the first book. Someone who delighted in rubbing it in Misha's face how bad she is at being a demon. And in this book, he's her friend and an ally, but there's enough of that edge to him to make him want to pout about being left behind and being annoyed that they want to use him as a counterweight when they practice flying and feeling like he should be the hero of the story to a certain extent and being absolutely thrilled when he gets to put his demon powers to work fighting for something he believes in. He, his characterization was wonderful in this book. It was great. And, and the story goes from there. It had a satisfying ending. There was some soul searching on the parts of the characters. There was wrapped up a little bit cleanly, but it was, it was well done. And I do recommend it. With that said, it wasn't perfect. There are spoilers ahead because I have to talk about the deal breakers. Okay, the deal breakers are this. First, while this wrapped up Misha's story well, in my opinion, it doesn't serve as a good standalone graphic novel. It relies very heavily on readers having read the first Misha the Bad Demon graphic novel. And that's fine. That's good. In some ways, I'd almost prefer it this way. I've talked in the past about sequelitis, 
where subsequent books in a series repeat the same information ad nauseum, and so readers who are reading them one after the other after the other get sick of hearing the same descriptions of the same characters over and over and over again with all these endless recaps. And to her credit, Michelle Lamb avoided that. But, again, in my opinion, it made this particular volume less accessible for new readers. I think as a set, as a two-book series, Mish the Bad Demon is quite a factor. The second book, as a standalone graphic novel, isn't as well-suited for that purpose. And the other thing I just have to say is that the, the Demon Fairies were an interesting idea, and it may have been a neat nod to the challenges that biracial people and mixed race people face in real life when there's prejudice they face from both communities that their parents and ancestors came from. It, it just, it felt a little clunky in this particular book. The, um, the demon fairies seem awesome to me. And I think it could have been written up a little better as the fairies and demons maybe being jealous that they had the best traits of both, or something like that, rather than just them being scapegoated for stuff. I, I'm not sure. It was, it was fine. I would say as far as children's books go on that topic, I prefer the approach taken by books like Violet by Tanya Stelic or maybe Spork by Kiel McClare. It's just, it, it comes across as a little bit clunky here, in my opinion. Still, this was a solid sequel to Mish the Bad Demon. It wrapped up the story well. It's still appealing. I recommend it. Go borrow it from your local public library. While I'm on that topic, if you use and appreciate the services offered by your public library, why not take just one minute and tell the powers that be exactly that? Tell your mayor, tell your council members, tell your MP or MLA that you use and appreciate the services offered by your public library. We're at a time where some libraries are having trouble finding sustainable funding to continue improving the materials, programs, and services they offer. And a few good words in the right ears might make a world of difference. If by some chance you're a library staff member, don't forget, Watching my videos counts as professional development time. With that, thanks for listening to me talk about how good a bad demon can be. By all means, please like, please subscribe, and please check back to see what else I have to talk about from the Cowhat Library. Thank you. Bye now.